down there. Get out of here now. Leave now, mister, or you get hurt.
figured I'd plan on heading home. Why would you think that? All right, what do you got? Lucky Tony Young Group. He runs the affiliate of the 14K Triad up here. Tell me about this guy and uh, why he's got to be taken out. You think he has an association with the high-level target? Just tell me about Lucky Tony. Uh, he's involved in loan sharking, money laundering, human trafficking. The thing of it is, it's a very low-level guy. Uh, so why don't you tell me what the name of the real game is? game is national security, same as always. Uh -huh. We think he's getting involved in beyond cutting edge, missile targeting systems and stealth systems. We think Tony is answering to someone who's a high-level arms dealer. So this guy is a cutout. Exactly. We also suspect the Chinese government has some involvement. We want Tony taken out with extreme prejudice, let the Chinese know that this kind of activity is a bad idea. Once any government uses cutouts, then all bets are off. 14K operates out of here. It's East Van. They're in the dark. They have no idea they're being used by the Chinese government. Well, like I said, man, if they want to play that game, it's better for us. Because that means we can do whatever we want. Right. You're doing me a big solid here, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. In return, I'll, I'll give you all the intel I have on Darko Karadzic. <laughs> now, we have no current information as to the location of Lucky Tony, but I have opened a dialogue with the intelligence service up here. It's completely off record. They don't much care for corporate CIA ops on their soil, so go figure. <laughs> Your high-level target is gonna stay buried. Eliminating his support structure is the only way we can make him show himself, and it's the only way you're gonna get to take your shot. Wow. That is crazy. What's crazy? All these human feet rushing ashore. I mean, there's been like... 16 of them, and nobody knows who the hell they belong to. Not just some psycho cutting up his victims, ditching the bodies. I don't know. The paper here says they've been detached naturally. Natural. No, that's disinformation, man. The cops are planning stuff just to try and trip the guy up. No, no way. It's just gangbangers dumping bodies. You're on. What do you think? Hmm? Are you saying something? Hey, Sarah. Yeah? Go with Marcus. Okay. He'll brief you. I got a meeting with RCI. How y'all doing? Good? Ladies looking good? I'll take a bourbon. Best you got. Excuse me, sir. My employer's request that you join him at his table. Who's your employer? You don't know him, but he knows you. I see. I'd appreciate it if you reconsider my offer. You don't want to make me look bad in front of my boss, do you? No. No, I don't. Now, I'm 6'5", you must be at least seven feet, huh? Yeah. I really don't want to make you look bad in front of your boss. I don't. So what I'm going to do is, rather than knocking you out in one punch, I'm going to knock you out in three. That'll make you look good. Very impressive. I'm not surprising. 
Yeah, everybody around here knows you're some shoe, you kung fu master. But I know kung fu too. You know my style is? No. It's called shoot you. So come with us, or I will freaking shoot you. Don't you think we should get out of here? No, I don't. I like it here. Okay, I hope you remember I did you solid right there. Yeah, you did me a solid. You got in my way, man. What? You got two seconds to tell me why you set me up. Okay, don't kill me. Easy. No killing. I owe some money. Lots of money. And Marcus won't do anything. I tell him everything I know, he doesn't care. I need help with my problems. You'll never see them again, but maybe I will. But now, maybe they think twice before asking me for it. See? You help me, I help you. You know what the difference between me and everybody else is? Everybody else that you deal with, they think you're stupid. I think you're smart, but you think I'm stupid. See, those guys that you had tried to talk to me, that was really unfortunate. If that had happened wrong, I'd have to kill you right now. But instead of killing you, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a chance to make it up to me. So when we talk about people like Karate, you tell me everything you know about them. I don't care what you tell Marcus. I don't care. I care about me. Tell me everything you know, and not only am I gonna let you live, but I'm gonna make them leave you alone. How's that? Okay. I'm sorry. I can help you. I can help you with Mr. Karatek, but we can't talk about this here. Okay. Come on. Let me ask you something. Why does uh, Karatek want to kill you? I didn't know she was his girlfriend. What can I say? I just moved here a couple of months ago. She was very friendly. But this is why I do good things for Marcus. See, I have no papers, Mr. King. I'm what you call an illegal alien. But maybe you can help me get out of here. Into USA. Look, my friend, this ain't about a negotiation, but like I told you a minute ago, anything you know about Karadzic, you tell me, and I mean anything. That's what you gotta do. Of course, I can be a very useful man to you. I've seen some strange things go down on a boat called Viking Moon. Past 11 months, 16 feet washed ashore around the lower mainland. Nine were identified as known missing persons. The other seven were all from different individuals. None were severed mechanically. We found this one two days ago. Mm, do they think it's the gangs dumping their kills? Well, that's one of their working theories. There's no hard evidence. But they got an interesting call on the tip line this morning. Run the audio file. I saw her tattoo from her family. It's our two cousins. Her name is Lee. They killed her for sure. I have to go. There's not much to go on. The interesting thing is the call originated from a cell number the gang task force has been monitoring. Whose number? It's registered to Tony Yongiri. So are they tracking his movements via his phone? No, they're just monitoring the number. The only reason he got a recording is because the call went into the tip line. Is he under surveillance? Not at the present time, no. The tribes are tough enough to crack. They put all their resources into more accessible targets. Yeah, it's Kane. The RCMP is not tracking Tony Yangui. Where to go? Great. 
What do you got for me, handsome? I just talked to Sarah. Uh, I need to track a phone number connected to a Tony Yonguri. No problem. Pretty much every mobile unit these days runs GPS. Give me the number and I'll hack into its system. Unless he's removed the battery from his phone, I can turn it inside out and tell you anything you need to know. Well, I want to know where it's been and where it is within a couple of feet, if that's possible. I'll ping it. Maybe you could get me an address from where the signal came from this morning. That'd be cool. You got it. So everything you guys think you know is probably wrong. Intel says 14K operates out of this clubhouse in his van. Tongs follow orders, but it doesn't mean that they know where the orders are coming from or what they mean. We're going to set up surveillance and try to sketch out their security. We're going to have to stay in touch with Finch. She'll coordinate the surveillance, keep me and Sarah in the loop. You sure you can handle this? What's the handle? Walking down an alley with a bag of cans. Johnny, you gotta make sure you look street. Hey, you're not breaching bunkers in a rock. You know what? Maybe, you know what? I'll do it. No, really, because I, I used to uh, I used to bottle pick for a couple years. Are you seriously? No. Moron. Go. favorite girl. Couple of things. One, I tracked Lucky Tony's phone. It's Annie's van. Right where Johnny and Sims are setting up surveillance. So they confirm that Lucky Tony's there right now, yeah? That's the second thing. He's not there, but I found and made the call to the tip line. I'm looking at her right now. I'm monitoring her public chat room. I'm sending you the link. Okay, got it. Hello, JT. Hi, Alex. Thank you, Bob S. Okay, Johnny, stop fooling around. Let's get the rest of these cameras set up. Hold it. To your left. No, no, too far. Back left. No, too far now. Go back to the right now. Good. Clear. God. The call originated from the same building I tracked Lucky Tony's phone to. 14K runs a boiler room out there for porn and prostitution. They must run 30 girls doing cam shows. I've been voice matching. She's the one who made the call to the tip line. 100%. I got a guy at the end of the alley smoking a cigarette. Yeah, the guy in Armani. Armani? You kidding me? More like Kmart. All right, Finch. I got another one for you. <sighs> Weapons charges, assault charges, bottom feeder. Small fish. And get this, his name is Coy. Hello, friend. Thank you for dropping by. Do you have a camera so I can see you? We'll have fun. Who is this?
Wait a second. Okay, have, have we been made? I got a car at the end of the alley. Me? I thought you boys might need a babysitter. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be around the corner when you need me. Johnny, you get the last cannon place yet? I'm on it. Okay, duck and cover. Where Mr. Armani's coming back out. Trying to make a living, man. Get out now. I'm just collecting some bottles. Just collecting bottles. Johnny, take the beating, you bonehead. You're gonna blow your cover. No scumbags this out. It's 14k territory. We come again, we die. She thinks we're morons? Yeah, but do you think she trusts us? You know, the, the girl lost her whole team, bro. This guy can. Boss, we just reeled in a big fish. Lucky Tony's personal physician. The team's tailing him. I'll keep you posted. Okay, I'm pulling to the alley now. Let me know when you see our girl. Okay, all cameras are clear. No movement yet. Okay, here's your chance for some fresh air. You try anything, I'll cut your head off. Buddy. Okay, that's our girl. Here she comes. I'm on foot. Okay, be 
be smart. Get back in there. Go on, I'll be in touch. Sign of the doctor? No, there's no one out back. There's those two monkeys in the front. Finch, what's going on? It's been almost two hours. I tracked a small vessel that departed from your location. He might be on that. Well, how far away is it? It rendezvoused with a small Chinese freighter called the Viking Moon. Viking is registered as a fishing vessel, a mothership. The small vessel I'm tracking split and is headed back to your location. If the doctor is on it, he's a couple minutes away. Well, let me know if they change course. Yeah, it's Kane. We tried Gangaroo's doctor to a canning factory in Steveston. I think you might want to book a consultation. Why is that? Because I'm staring at a photograph of him standing next to Darko Karadzic. Is he still in the factory? Unclear. He might have gone out to meet a ship. All right, see if you can give me an address on his office. I'll see what I can find out on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I want the doctor alive. Copy. What's up? We're going in. Kane wants the doctor alive. How alive? Well, we're extracting him for interrogation, so conscious and without bullet holes would be best. As for the rest of them, they shoot at us, we shoot at them. Not necessarily in that order. What do you got for me, sweetheart? There's a doctor named Martin Zilke. I checked his background, and it might be him. I got an address. All right, I'll give it a shot. Keep digging. I want you to monitor the girl on the webcam and tell her the guy she met today is looking out for. He's a friend. You got it. on the water.
let's go. Sirens. Kane here. Kane, it's me. We lost the doctor. Sims is tracking him. Did you find out what he's up to? Yeah, he was cutting up girls for their organs. Must be dumping the bodies off the ship. That's why these feet keep washing up on shore. Well, where do you want us to be? Hook up with him, find out where the doctor goes. If you can snatch him, do it. He has a patient I'm interested in. I'll take care of things on my end. I'll be in touch. Copy that. Okay, we're going after Sims. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been impressive if he didn't get away. Where are you at? He's northbound on 99. Looks like he's heading back into the city. Okay. Friend of a friend. I want to help you. Tell me about your sister. When we came here on the boat. They said we have papers and nice jobs taking care of babies for rich people. And she was right behind me. And then she was gone. They did something to her, I know. They did something to you, too. I don't matter. You called the police. You want to make things right. That means you matter. Tell me, how did you get your phone? Tony gave it to me so he can call me whenever he wants. How often do you see Tony? Two, three times a week. Sometimes nothing. Hey, on. I have to go. Kane will call you soon. When he does, he'll want you to call Tony and tell Tony you have to see him, that someone's been asking about his doctor. I have to go. Why you come now? Why didn't you call? You stupid. Okay, ah! here. It's me, Chief. He's there. I'm watching Lucky Tony. He's in May's room. They've grabbed her. And now they're dragging her out of the room. See if you can ping her phone. On it. Where are the others? They're heading back to East Van. Sims. Where are you? I'm right behind the doctor, boss. I see if you can keep your finger on the doctor and stay alive with me and Finch. There's a girl I want to see if I can extract. I'm on it. Stay alive. Yeah. We're going after the girl. Lucky Tony and the doctor are all there. Sims has one. All right, let's get her. You got me? Loud and clear. All right, I'm going in.
Go, go, go! Get this way, this way. Come on. Where's the girl, Finch? Just south of you. Don't know which floor. Hold it there. Right there, you're right on top of her. Calm down. I'm here to help you. Finch, I got her. No, wrong room. She's moving. Must be above you. Grab your stuff and get the hell out of here. top of them. They're still in the building on a different exit, tracking them south. <laughs> Sims comm link is down. Sims, stay with me, Finch. Calm as you can. I need to know where the girl is. They're moving fast. They're right on top of you. You should be right on top of her. Good job on Tony. I guess you and your team are on your way over the border? Probably not. I'm kind of thinking about getting some more stuff done up here. You left behind a lot of bodies. It's going to be hot in town. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, but uh, Karadzic is here, so. Hey, just keep in mind I've done everything I could to get you what you wanted. I appreciate that. I'm just trying to see who Karadzic answers to, who's on the top of the ladder. And I know you and I got different bosses, and. March to different drummers, but, uh, you know, I have to get up on this. Heard of a man named Arnon Grossman? I have. I think he's the largest organ trafficker in the world. Yeah, and Karadzic's trying to join forces with him. There's also indications that our high-level target has some dealings with Grossman as well. That's what I hear. See, Ken, you and me, we're on the same page. I just think Darko can wait, that's all. 
I don't think so, man. I'm not gonna let this guy slip out my fingers again. Have it your way. You always do. I'll see you around the campus. All right. He got it. The Viking moon is still docked at Pier 17. Almost there. He's invincible. It's not the first time he's been patched up. He'll be back before you know it. So why do you say Sims is invincible? He's been trying to get himself killed since the day I met him. Why would he want to do that? I don't know if he can help it or not. It's just the way he functions. I mean, he's not firing on all cylinders unless there's a good chance that he's not going to walk away alive. But he always walks away. He's a golden boy like that. Good guy to have on your team. Hmm. So, what's the plan this time? It's Kane's call. Speaking of Kane, hello? Sarah, how far away are you? Five minutes tops. All right, I'll see you in five. I'm going in. Kane's going in and we're not far behind. We'll get back to you in a bit. You got it. I've got a bad feeling about this. Kane, we're here. We're on board. What is 
this? It's messed up. Whoa, hey! Get out of the way! Stay down! down. Stay out out down! Now. Drop him! Get out of the way! All the computers and the logs had been stripped from the ship. We can recover most of the navigational data from the AIS tracking. It'll be on a server. Yeah, it's what's not on the server that we need to know. It's not the right question. Why'd they leave those guys alive? It wasn't an accident. Well, sometimes uh, people leave folks alive to tell a story. It's called delivering a message. To who? Whoever found them. You have to fear the man who did this because he's capable of anything. It's another message, you know? It's a 9 by 18 Makarov. Modified for armor piercing. A lot of the experts and ads operators around the world are using them. Go through a lot of Kevlar. Okay, so experts and ads goes on. Kills them all. Doesn't tell us why. A lot of these experts and guys are good operators. They're working throughout the Balkans. Maybe Darko might have brought some of them with him. Good guys they have on his side, bad guys they have up against us, I'll tell you that. So Darko was sending 14K a message. I mean, if I was selling body parts and I didn't get them, I'd be pretty pissed off, too. Well, you know, anybody could have hit that ship. I mean, the fact of the matter is, we kind of got to be prepared for anything. Business as usual. Hey. Hey, honey. Ah, uh, you miss me already? Yeah. But... What's wrong? Is everything okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. You just seemed like you had something on your mind this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I've been getting the feeling lately that maybe you miss your old job. Nah. Okay. Maybe I do. A little bit, you know? But I'm done, all right? I'm done. You don't sound done. Look, don't overthink it too much, okay? I'm not going back. I'm done. I promise, all right? Okay. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Kiss my boy for me, all right? Okay. conversation with Kathy. And I mean, you already know how she feels about me in this job. New baby boy now. I think I'm done, Chief. Big 
favor back in the old country. You don't remember that? I did you a favor getting you over here, didn't I? I met you on the dock. You said anything. Anything, my friend. Didn't okay. You? Okay? Okay, shut up. We'll do one. Lucky Tony's dead. I got this girl with me from Mr. Karantik, you know. Now somebody's trying to kill me. I, I, I don't know what to do. I think it might be him. It could be Karantik. Why are you trying to kill you? I don't know. You know I'm from the old country. You just, you, you just talk to him for me. Don't it's, answer. It's correct. You an idiot. This is like tracking device. Huh? I'm sorry. Is she a replacement for Karadzic delivery? Yeah. You, you gotta talk to him for me, please. Man, he's gonna listen to you. Just tell him I, I, I can make it right. Please. Okay. You stay here. No phones. I'll see if I can find out what's happening. Okay. All right, what's the situation with Sims? They're all done patching him up. He should be here any minute. I want you guys to hold tight for now until uh, he gets back. I got a little meeting with Marcus. What did you do to my sister? to have been involved with Hezbollah and Hamas. He spent hundreds of millions of dollars smuggling oil and cigarettes in and out of Iraq. Then he moved into arms dealing. I know about this guy, actually. Um, he's one of those guys that handles everything at arm's length. Very, very careful player who's connected to the Albanian mafia and the Asian triads. But from what I know, he always has cutouts. He doesn't deal with anybody directly. Interestingly enough, I also heard that he was involved in the ethnic cleansing in uh, Serbia. That's true. He's brought up on war crimes, but no one could get the conviction. Yeah, that's him. I know him. Our intel indicates he might be coming into the country soon. He's vulnerable in Europe, Mideast. Too many people want him dead. And we know he's got connections to the Chinese. Listen, man, I know this might be far-fetched, but do you think he might got something to do with uh, Karadzic and uh, Grossman and that deal we got going on here. We don't know. You know more about Grossman than me. You worked at theater. People are meet to him, that's it. You want to know who invented transplant tourism? Grossman? Yeah. But it's a good opportunity to eliminate him anyway. By the way, we win. I agree.
You know, there's no real easy way of saying this, Kane. Just say it, man. What is it? Andre Mason was killed this morning. I just found out. Was it set up? Targeted. I'm sorry, Kane. But you will have your justice, I promise. Marcus's friend. What can I remember? Yeah. I want to be your friend too, so I will help you. Mr. Karadzic's doctor is in motel room with this girl. <laughs> Patched up for a little bullet wound. Getting soft, old man. Soft? That's a flesh wound. Hey, okay? just trying to get a little vacation pay. Good luck with that. Sorry to have to tell you, sir. I just found out. Are his wife and kid okay? Well, I don't know. Friends die in Iraq? Yeah. That's what happens in war. Did it piss you off? Does it make you angry? Sometimes. Good. So I'm really pissed off. my fault. I can make it right for you, I promise. Where's Sims? He's back, just topside right now. Be down in a minute. He's all right, then? All right. Well, here's the load on Antonio Ludi. As you all know, he smuggles women from mainland China and uh, uses them in his prostitution ring, but he also uses them by feeding Karajit's Oregon farm. What's left of the bodies, he throws into the Straits of Juan de Fuca, and that's why all you guys are seeing all of these washed up feet. Tony was a cockroach, everybody knows that. But Karajit is uh, even worse. He's the one who set up the pipeline to bring in the girls to harvest them. My sources are telling me that he's trying to make a deal with the biggest organ dealer in the world out of Israel, a man named Arnon Grossman, who runs a multi-billion dollar organization. What do you got, Finch? I went through all the data and the files we got from the doctor's office. I found one interesting thing. All the organs that went to Kradzik's buyers were perfect matches, not just blood type, perfect tissue matches. They must have screened hundreds, maybe thousands of girls to find the ones they cut. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I've been saying, and it all adds up. That's why Karadzic's product's so valuable. He's not just ripping organs off from people. He pre-screens them and probably gets them onto China, spends a lot of money and time to get the right match. So that means he has a lot of money behind him. So why did Z go straight for me? Well, I think they've already screened her, and uh, she's probably a perfect match for his next client. So does he have women in reserve? I'm sure he does. He has a show that he can produce consistently. And the thing of it is, if he gets a regular supply and he makes a partnership with this guy Arnon, then he's going to be very, very, very powerful. We can't let that happen. So let's put a little heat on his E and uh, see if we can find out what we can to uh, jerk a knot in their tail and stop his whole organization. OK, let's do this. Grab her arms, hold her down. Hold her head down. It's okay. Yeah, see your sister now. Hold 
Hold still, hold still. Hold still. was so angry because he, he really needs this deal and where's the meeting i don't know they don't tell me they don't tell me anything they, um, okay so. listen listen to me i personally am very happy i'm not a cop anymore because i think if i arrested you booked you you got into the judicial system somehow you'd get out of it and for me the crimes you've committed against humanity are astounding not just to women but to everyone you don't really care who you butcher, do you? This is bigger than you think. You can't stop it. Is she dead? You're too late. <laughs> little time and patience left. If I run out of either one, you will have the pleasure of watching your own daughter sliced open and I will sell her insights to my business associates. Do you understand me? I'll tell the doctor you're called, Dr. Cole. Elijah Kane. Is the doctor dead? Not yet. Not yet, my friend. You have made my life very difficult of late, Mr. Kane. Well, I'm not very concerned about that. Um, and in the end, I have the girl. So you don't really matter to me anymore. Well, I'll tell you what. You know eventually I'm gonna find you. And you know eventually I'm gonna kill you, so... Um... Don't forget that. <laughs> Threats mean very little to me, Kane. Just as they mean little to you. Let's not play that game. I'll make you a deal. If it's you who ordered the hit on my team, then game is on. If it's not, then you're a smart man. You do not know what or who you are dealing with. I didn't order anybody to do anything to you. So who did? That's a good question. Nikolai didn't know. What makes you think I do? Listen, you're a smart man. You know me. And you know where I come from. And. You have intel that I need, so believe it or not, there's honor here amongst us. Give me the intel that I need. You go back to your activities. I'll go back to mine. And uh, me and my associates will dis disappear into the night and leave you alone for this lifetime. If you don't provide me with what I need, then you know what's going to happen. Deal. The doctor is part of it. I need him back. If your intel checks out, I'll get him back to you immediately. The man you want, you already have. Milan Sarek gave the order to kill your officers. I'm gonna check out what you say. I'll call you back in an hour. Okay, well, this is the real deal. And uh, we're all gonna be walking into a hot zone, very hostile environment. At the same time, we need to draw the target out. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance that we'll all walk out alive. I plan on running. At least you plan on living. That's a good thing. <clears throat> I'll go with you. 
No, it's no problem. I can handle it. Yeah, I know you can handle it, Sarah, but 50 50, those are my kind of odds. I'll drive. You're giving yourself an A plus already? A positive. Old habit. We all did it. You got shot up while you're out on patrol or came across an IED, the medics could identify your body, tell your blood type. It's the little things to keep you alive. Mm-hmm. No, no. Now this is just to make you feel better about yourself. You know, uh, I get the feeling like uh, you think that we get a do-over out there if things go wrong. The guy grabbed your gun today, he could have shot either one of us. There's no second chances out there. No three, two, one reset. All right, well, thanks for the pep talk. Yes, my darling, talk to me. I did the rundown on Neil and Sarek you asked for. Here's the thing. There's identification coding on the video. Turns out it's a CIA tape. And the coding ID is the informant and the operation. Well, I know where you're going. Uh, but it is the informant. You work for the company, right? Yeah, I know that's what you're trying to say. The CIA has had their thumb on him for over a year. Marcus is the guy who runs him. Why does that not surprise me? So there's no way you ordered the hit on your team. It would have been picked up. So? Did everything check out, Kane? Yeah, believe it or not, everything checked out. So, uh, for all of our sakes, I'm really happy. It's just a lot of less work for everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, send you the doctor back right away. Simple as that. Yeah, it is simple as that, you know? Businessman, this is a business transaction. Believe it or not, I'm a businessman, so... You honored your end of the bargain, and I'm gonna honor mine. I just talked to Karadzic. Ping his phone to stay live on his movement. He's meeting our non grossman I need to know where that's gonna be. You got it. I'll load it up. Where's Johnny? I should be here in a minute. So what's with the chalk and cheese routine? What are you talking about? The two of you guys, you're like polar opposites and everything. No, Johnny, he is, uh, he's my good luck charm. It's funny that says the same thing about you. Look, Sarah, I'm, uh, I'm one of those guys who just doesn't worry. You don't worry? About what? About everything. I mean, I, I live right here, right now. Don't care about the future, don't care about the past. The Delta thing? You could die at any moment, so when you do, you die happy, no matter what? No. No, it's not about that. It, I mean, right now is all that matters. Right now. Because when we die, all we have is right now. So we might as well get used to it. I hope you're right about that. Well, I guess I'll know one day, won't I? <laughs> Look, Johnny. Johnny's one of those guys who cares. You know, yeah, he may not show it, but he feels it. And... For some reason, I just need to be around that. Why? I don't know. I just do. You're just in time. The big guy needs to talk to you. You told me you did some uh, sniping in Afghanistan. Is that true? Yes, sir. I can shoot. By the looks of it, you need someone who can spot. Well, that's a good thing, because anybody can shoot, but spotting's the hard part. I'm a very, very good shooter. I'm not a very good spotter, so... I need somebody good on the ground, that's for sure. I mean, I don't have time to train anybody, so I need somebody who's good. No, I'm better than good, sir. That's the truth. Well, I hope you can walk the walk, because, uh, if it ain't true, we might all be dead. 
I can tell you the wind speed by the feeling on my cheek. I can see vapor trails in the dark, sir. We'll be about to find out. Okay, team, let's do this. Narcos on the move. Finch. I have Finch, it's Kane. Yes, I'm tracking Darko's phone. See, I can read your mind. He said northwest on Kingsway. Looks like his meeting is a go. I don't need a 20 ASAP. Just turned down Maine. Looks like he's heading for the waterfront. See if you can find a zone on the waterfront behind the dock area downtown. Confirmed. Darko's heading for the waterfront. The dock area near the downtown. Waterfront's confirmed. Sims almost home like I showed you on the sand table. Good luck, guys. If you need me, I'm right here. Slow it down till I get you into position. Johnny Grossman's our first kill. We gotta take the head off the snake. Karatsuka Grossman yet. Hold until they give the word. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about your own backyard. <laughs> This guy's gonna have preset positions for all his operators just like we do. Two over by the cannery. Got him. Three on the west side. I got him. Two more at the north end, three with the town car and one facing. Goddamn. Uh, the Boogie Old Prison. What's my wind speed? Steady. Nine o'clock, four uh. miles per hour. There's Darko. All right, I have Karadzic. Do you have a clean shot? I do. He's in the open, but I can't identify the other occupants from the vehicle. All right, Sim, sir, stand by to see if you can draw Grossman on the open for me. Initiate on my mark. Grossman confirmed. The prison never ran. Yeah. What's going on, Karadzic? Great to see you, Arnon. Where the hell is my shipment? All secondary targets are in the open. Targets ID. Sim, Sarah, roll out. We're go. We have a visual confirmation on both Grossman and Karadzic. Mm -hmm. Sim, quick access is off Governor's way. Copy that. Everything is under control. We had a minor setback. This is not how I do business. Where's Dr. Z? Maybe I'll just take my business up with him. It's all for the better, Arnold. Trust me. I've made arrangements with certain people to ensure our activities can continue uh, unmolested. What are you talking about? I mean, the CIA will ignore our operations from now on.
press release, Dr. Z. He should be with you in a moment. He should be pulling him now. right point one. Flash is good. Guys, I've got emergency response vehicles heading your way. Copy. It's a lot of dead guys, man. We gotta get the hell out of here. Pack your stuff and let's go. Okay, let's hit it. Still there, baby girl? Of course. Can't get rid of me, Chief. I'm not planning on getting ready. I'm trying to keep you. I just wanted to tell you, man, you did a great job on this side, man. I'm starting to get really attached. I don't know if I could live without you. Thanks. The girls are all over the news. They're saying an unknown group to save their lives. Kind of cool. Well, they're not far from the truth, are they? I mean, sometimes you got to give up something to get something, but the long and the short is we did the best we could, and, uh, I don't think May died in vain. I really don't. I'm sorry about May. Well, the good news is that uh, Karachi is dead, and uh, your obligation to Marcus is finished. I mean, you can either go home or come and work for me. 
Now, if you come and work for me, come on the boat. I'll start teaching you. That would be great. Hey, how about I come out into the field with you, too? I'm gonna let you do that, but we have to do a little at a time, you hear? Baby steps. I'll ask you again. Tomorrow. Cool. <laughs> You want me to do that? Yeah. You gonna be okay? I'll be fine, thanks. So, y'all did a great job. It's not easy being an operator. It's very dangerous. It can get ugly, and I think it's gonna get uglier. But um, I'm proud of y'all. We're gonna have to get packed up and get out of here by light, so get going on this, get going. 